Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday night, it's like 10.30 almost. I just finished watching the season two finale of Euphoria. I'm not gonna give away any spoilers, but it was a pretty sad episode. I enjoyed it, it was a good episode, but there is a part that's pretty sad. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself because that was such a part of my normal weekly routine every Sunday watching Euphoria and talking with my friends about it. Anyway, I just feel like I've been in a little bit of a rut and this just always happens to me. I feel like every few weeks I just end up getting back into this cycle where I just feel like kind of blah and very stuck in my head. That's what's been happening with me a lot lately. Like. I've just been really in my head and I feel like I haven't been as productive as I want to be and as focused on just like everyday real life shit because I don't really know how to explain it exactly but I feel like I've just been spending a lot of time on my phone just like mindless scrolling and that kind of thing so this week I figured it's gonna be a fresh week. Tomorrow's Monday, I want to just get a fresh start and it's also gonna be the start of a new month. I think Tuesday is the first of March. So I just like it's the perfect time, you know, to kind of like hit the reset button a little bit. So speaking of that, I want to jot down a list of all of the things that I want to get done this week so that way I can just kind of like knock them out as the days go on. Oh, I need to pay my rent. Can't forget about that. All right, so it's <laughs> probably the most important thing. I'm gonna do that tonight actually before I go to bed. Then I have a nail appointment on Monday. I also need to clean out the fridge and then I need to grocery shop. I wanted to clean my car I have to edit the podcast for this week. Then on Tuesday, I have a wax appointment. I have laundry to do. And then I want to film my furnished apartment tour finally because my apartment's been completely done now for almost a month. Okay, I think that is everything that I wanted to get done this week. Now I need to put all these dishes that I have in the sink in the dishwasher and just kind of like tidy up in the kitchen a little bit. Let's clean up this sink area real quick. Hello, good morning. It's the next day. I got a little bit of work done this morning. Now I just got ready. Um, I'm gonna leave soon for my nail appointment. I'm very excited because I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I've been doing this same length and shape for a few years now and I love how they look. I love the shape of them so much and I kind of feel like a classy badass bitch with them but they just they've been driving me crazy and my nails grow so damn fast i don't know they just have been getting annoying i feel like stuff's always getting like stuck under my nails whenever i'm like putting lotion on i always have to like pick the lotion out from under my nails so i have just had the urge to chop them short and i was randomly looking at an old picture of me from years ago and I had these short lime green nails and they were so cute. So I wanna do that again this time. So we're gonna cut them down short and I wanna do some kind of like bright neon summery spring color. So 
think I'm gonna go green. We'll see what options they have. And then I really need to go to the store because like I was saying last night, I need to go grocery shopping. That is on my list. And then I also had made a list of a couple other things that I need like toilet paper, razors, etc. Here's the before, very grown out. clip that I got on my phone picked the color up accurately but here's how my nails turned out I mean it feels really good to have short nails like this is amazing my hands feel so clean I don't know what it is but when my nails get past a certain length no matter how clean they actually are like something about it just feels dirty to me I don't I don't know how to explain it I don't, I don't know but it feels good to have them short but looking at them I'm like uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it kind of makes, like, my fingers look a little bit shorter and stubbier, maybe. I am just obsessed with this color. It's literally, like, highlighter lime green. But I thought, let me do a little Walmart haul. I went to Walmart because, like I said, it's a little bit cheaper there than Target, and it's also closer to my apartment target would have been like a little bit more out of the way but oh my god every time i'm in there i'm i just think to myself wow i should have went to target like i don't target i feel like i could walk up and down the aisles for hours and i just love being in there i love looking around i can get a starbucks and just you know peruse but walmart when i'm in there i feel so stressed even if it's not busy, like it wasn't busy today. There's no reason I wasn't in a rush, but just like my blood pressure levels, I feel just rise when I enter a Walmart and I just like couldn't get out of there fast enough. But I got the basic things I needed, toilet paper, paper towels, some groceries. And then I did need some more candles because I love candles. I light them every day and I was running low. So I saw this one. And first of all, I just love how the packaging is so plain. It's from Better Homes and Gardens and the scent is warm leather and amber. Oh, it just smells so good. It's such like a cozy masculine scent. And then I got this one also from Better Homes and Gardens. It's double sided, which is pretty cool. And they're completely separate. So you could just light one side if you wanted to. One side is moss and then the other side is mahogany. And again, just like masculine, smells really good. Um, and then I got some sunscreen spray because I was walking past the sunscreens and I'm not sure if I have any at the moment. Always good to have that. And then I needed some more razors. So I just got these store brand ones. And then I saw this lip gloss shade and I just needed to get it. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which I have one of these in a pink shade already. And I love it. It just makes my lips look so juicy. Oh yeah, that color is beautiful. So yeah, that's my little Walmart haul. Oh, I also got a plant. I saw these outside and I really wanted a hanging plant for my balcony because I have little hooks out there so I feel like I just I needed a hanging plant right uh yeah I'm not gonna be able to reach that I need to get the step ladder so cute I have a second hook up there too so I mean I definitely feel like I need two I was gonna get a second one but I want to see how this one survives first because sometimes the wind gets real strong and as you can see it has knocked these plants over so i'm scared that that one is going to just go flying off 
So I don't know, we will see. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. It seems pretty secure up there, but I don't know. Okay, since I am on a roll, I'm gonna do some laundry. I don't have too much to do, just one load. Um, and then I have some towels that I washed yesterday that are still in the dryer. So need to put those away. But I wanted to give you guys an update on the laundry detergent that I showed you in the last vlog. The Glamorous Wash Diva from Tyler Candle Company. At first I wasn't sure if I liked the smell, but I think it was just because it wasn't what I was expecting. And I don't really know what I was expecting exactly. I don't know, it was just different and also very unique. I, I feel like a lot of times when I smell certain things, perfumes, candles, whatever, it's familiar and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I've smelled something that smells like that before. But this, I can't pinpoint, I don't even know like how distinctly to describe it. And I think it just like kind of threw me off a little bit at first, but now that more time has gone by, I actually do like it. Do I think it's like the most amazing, like my favorite scent in the entire world? I've never smelled anything better. No. Will I be repurchasing it? Absolutely not. Um, if it wasn't so expensive, maybe, but for the price, no. Like I really just got it because I wanted to try it. I know that they do sell like a little sample size of it. So if you're interested and you want to try it out and see what the hype's about, smell it for yourself. I would just get the little thing first um, before you decide to really splurge because you might really love it or you might be like me and be like, eh. If I got the sample size, I definitely would not have purchased the big one. so many vlog clips in this exact spot it's kind of become like my confessional by the way anybody else have this like irrational fear when your shower curtain is completely closed like I just opened it to get my cleanser out from the shower and I'm just like terrified that somebody's just gonna be standing there and I know that that just doesn't make any sense because how could anybody get into my apartment like I I've been here the last several hours, and if somebody was here, my dog would know and go crazy, but still, I don't know. I just, my heart was racing a little bit for a second there, but I'm just washing my face because I desperately need to wax my lip. <laughs> I've been noticing that it's needed waxing for a couple of weeks now and I just keep forgetting about it until I go to put makeup on or I take a selfie or something and then I'm like oh I straight up have a mustache right now oh my god my favorite part of the day a hot washcloth mm. it's the best so this is what I'm gonna be using to wax my face with I used to have like a wax pot and the whole like professional setup but honestly this is just so much faster and easier and less messy it's so easy all you have to do is rub it between your hands to warm it up peel it oh yeah I don't know how well you can see that, but luckily the hair on my face isn't super dark. It's mostly like peach fuzz, but it definitely creates a little bit of a shadow. And when my makeup clings to it, it's pretty noticeable. Whew. I feel so much better today though compared to how I've been feeling the last you know, a few days, a couple of weeks. I just feel like lately, um, what I've 
been experiencing is I don't know if it's like ADHD which I've never been diagnosed with but many people have told me they think I have it and I do identify with a lot of the symptoms of it and I, I definitely have anxiety I've been diagnosed with that so I don't know if it's like one or the other or a combination of both or what but I feel like if I'm not constantly being stimulated like mentally and physically then I just like my mind wanders a lot and I just like daydream a lot I guess I I guess it's just subconsciously like oh there's nothing super exciting happening right now like in front of me in real life so my mind is gonna go find something more exciting and kind of live there and I just like keep having these moments where I'm just like mindlessly scrolling through my phone or I like have something on the TV but I'm fully not paying attention to it like I am just my body is here but my mind is completely in a different place let me know comment down below if you can relate but yeah I'm trying to force myself to be in the moment be more productive and I mean so far it's worked today and I feel really good I feel like I got a lot of things on my to-do list accomplished already and this is just the first day of the week so I'm looking forward to the rest of the week the weather's supposed to be really nice too which I feel like always helps it always like puts me in a good mood and makes me more excited like when the weather this past weekend the weather was like chilly and really gloomy and rainy and so I was completely checked out like the entire weekend pretty much anyway I am gonna go to bed now he meanwhile he's like ready to freaking go he's got all the energy in the world Are you taking out all of your toys what is going on here? Why are you taking out all your toys? Excuse me. It's time for bed, okay? Yeah. That's right. Bedtime. Very good. Don't mind the noise in the background. I am descaling my Nespresso machine. But I wanted to open a package that I just got. Well, I got two packages, actually. You guys already know that I love these Amazon now I don't have long nails anymore so I need scissors to open this I love my Amazon pillow slides they are so comfy and I had them in nude so now I got some in black these aren't the exact same style they're dirty because I wore them to the beach and I have to clean them but this is the original pair that I had but I am not sure. I don't know exactly the brand. These don't have a name or anything on them. Because I know I get questions about these all the time. Literally just search pillow slides on Amazon. There's so many that come up. They all look very similar. I just go based off of whichever ones have the most reviews and the best reviews. They feel just as comfy and squishy as the other ones do. I just love these just to like, you know throw on real quick if I have to take Benny out or if I'm going to the beach or something like that. And then the second thing that I got is a magnetic screen. I'm gonna wait to set this up a different day because I honestly just don't feel like doing it right now. But I love being able to leave my balcony door open. I've been doing it a lot and I'm able to get away with it now that it's technically winter because there haven't really been any bugs out, but I know come like spring and summer, there's gonna be a shit ton of bugs. So I wanted to get that so I could still leave the door open but not have to worry about any bugs getting in. And most of the ones that they have on there, and again, this, like I literally just went on Amazon and I just looked for magnetic screen. And there were so many different options. Just looked at which ones had the most reviews and the best reviews. And most of them were black, but I saw that there was a white one, which I thought would blend in and match better since the door and the blinds and curtains and everything over there is white. Also, I had no idea that you could connect your Nespresso machine to Bluetooth and there's an app on your phone. These things are crazy. I mean, I knew that it had a little computer inside of it because the little pods have these barcodes on the bottom and it scans them and that's how it knows like how much water it needs and how much pressure and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
They're very cool. I mean, there's a reason why they're kind of expensive. What's cool about it too is it tells you when it needs cleaning um, or if it's having some kind of issue, like it will tell you what the problem is. So that's very helpful. Success, the machine is now working. And I just remembered that it's Tuesday. So that means there's a new episode of How I Met Your Father. Honestly, I really, really liked the show the first few episodes, but it's like kind of starting to get to a point where it's just like a little bit too corny. Like some of it is just kind of cringe and I'm like, mm. And I wish the episodes were longer. They're only like 20 something minutes long, but it's still a good guilty pleasure. I'm still enjoying it. So I am going to watch the new episode of this while I have my coffee. And then I am going to start to get ready because I have a wax appointment in a couple of hours. And then I might end up cleaning out my car. I'm glancing over at my list now. Um, I really got a lot of things done and I just cleaned the fridge out while my machine was descaling. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It might end up just being like a chill day. But anyway, I'm gonna go watch the show. I will see you in a little bit. I'm getting ready to head out. I just did like some very light natural makeup. I did the Makeup Forever powder foundation and then I just threw on like a little bit of light bronzer and blush. And this is the blush that I used. I love it because I feel like it's one of those colors, at least on my skin tone, where I can kind of use it as like a bronzer or a blush. And it kind of just gives me that type of color like I was just out in the sun and got like a little bit pink. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match in the shade W56 Subtle Sable. And then just ran some brow gel through my brows. And that's it. I'm not even sure if I want to do mascara or not. But now I was about to do my lips and I want to use that new lip gloss I got yesterday. So I thought we could try it out and see how it goes. I mean, it looks like a pretty color. So hopefully it uh, looks the way I was envisioning on my actual lips. So I'm going to use MAC Strip Down as my liner. I have this like really rigged ghetto setup right now. <laughs> And then this is that lip gloss I showed you yesterday, the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. Ooh. This is exactly what I was going for and how I was hoping the color would look. I don't know how I feel about it with this light kind of makeup. Normally when I'm doing something like this, I'll just throw on like clear gloss or something. Um... But I think with like a full face of makeup, this color will be gorgeous. Like with a little bit of like a gold on my lid or something like that. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do about my hair. It's pretty dirty right now. So I'm probably just going to spray a bunch of dry shampoo in it. But here is my outfit. I love these jeans so much from Target. And then this little button up sweater thing is from H&M. I love how my nails pop so much. Look at that. Oh, and then I'm going to wear my white Vans. I think the last time I washed my hair was Saturday. Today is Tuesday. So normally I would wash my hair again either like today or tomorrow, but I didn't really want to be bothered with doing that today. So we're just gonna put a bunch of dry shampoo in it and try to just kind of work with it and make it last us another day this is the not your mother's beach babe dry shampoo by the way i love it it works really well it's a texturizing dry shampoo so it adds a little bit of texture and it's toasted coconut scented so it makes your hair smell really good too i usually spray it on my hair day one right after i finish styling it and that helps to prevent it from getting greasy as quickly and then throughout the week usually by like the third day i'll spray a little bit more i have a video all about dry shampoo and i share like little tips and tricks so i will link that in the description in case you have not seen it and would like to because i remember when I was in college, when dry shampoo like first started becoming popular, I had 
no idea how to use it properly and I just I didn't like it I felt like it just wasn't working well for me I always would get a white cast and it just like I don't know it didn't seem to be doing what it was supposed to do and you know now that obviously I have way more experience and I know what I'm doing <laughs> um, it's like the best thing ever could not live without it type of thing so it really is all just about knowing how to use it properly though honestly I feel like my hair feels dirtier than it looks it doesn't look too terrible and my curls have held up really well I haven't like recurled it or done anything to it since Saturday when I first washed it so not too shabby back in the bathroom spot this is just like the most convenient place to vlog even though I know the lighting sucks but I have the shelf here and it's like the perfect height I actually had something from Ulta that I wanted to return so I stopped there after my wax and looked around a little bit and I ended up getting some more stuff what else is new um i returned i think it was like two vlogs ago i got the benefit eyebrow pencil it had like the three little tips to it and it was supposed to give like a microbladed kind of effect and i really feel like it didn't like the product didn't go on bold enough it was like so so soft which is fine but you couldn't even really see like the three different strokes so I don't know and it was like a $27 product and I just felt like it already went on so faint and I was a little worried because it was kind of like a felt tip I was scared that it was gonna dry out and not like it just didn't feel worth it to me I didn't love it enough so I returned that and then I wanted to get some more brushes because I recently got the Morphe M6 it's just like a flat buffing brush and my makeup has been going on so flawlessly when I wear liquid foundation and it is 100% because of that brush. So I wanted to get a second one to have as a backup, but of course they were all out. Um, but I saw this one instead, the M439. And I thought this looked pretty nice too. This one I plan on using for powder, so we will see because it's still pretty dense but it's a little bit fluffier and I just feel like that would work really nicely with powder and then I also got this elf precision airbrush blender which I thought looked really nice for um, cream blush cream bronzer Stuff like that like I'll usually will apply it to the back of my hand dip the brush in it and then apply it to my face like that and then I got this Morphe by Avani Greg low glow face and body illuminator I don't know if you can see I rubbed some on the back of my hands when I was in the store I thought this would be beautiful you could put it under your foundation to add a glow or you can use it as like a liquid highlighter and then also like put some on your body like in the summertime if I'm wearing like you know a little dress or like a more low cut top like putting the highlight on my chest on like my collarbone tips of my shoulders to just give that pretty glow I am very excited to use that and a lot of brands make similar stuff like that so um but I actually had applied that to this hand and then I applied the Fenty one to this hand and I was looking at them up close and they look identical like completely identical but the Morphe one was $12 and the Fenty one I want to say it was like 27 or something like that and then I stopped at Target because I wanted to get a loofah on a stick because I have a really hard time getting my back in the shower and I was looking for this when I was in Walmart yesterday but I couldn't find any so just stopped at Target since it was close by to where I was anyway and then from the waxing place I got more serums which I showed you guys a couple vlogs ago how I have been using this oil 
right? It's an oil. Yeah, it's technically a face oil, but I have been using it on my arms to help with the cellulite and tighten up the skin. And that stuff works miracles. So I bought two more bottles of it just to stock up to make sure because it's on sale right now where I get my waxes from. Um, and this is like their waxing the city brand which I tried finding online I don't think you can order it online but I'll link a similar one that I can find for you guys I can't promise it's going to work as well but it's amazing it's just um, a plant-based retinol alternative um, and it's supposed to just help with tightening and um, smoothing the appearance of any kind of like lines wrinkles from that same line they have an eye cream and i actually have been needing a new eye cream so i decided to get this one to try because if i mean that oil is amazing so i'm sure the eye cream is going to be just as good so i'm going to put this stuff away really quick and then i'm going to go down to my car because I'm just really in the mood to clean it right now. Good morning. It's Wednesday. I'm feeling really good. I did some self tanner last night washed my hair and it's a really beautiful sunny day out and I'm feeling really good. My anxiety was kind of high this morning when I first woke up but then as soon as I went outside to take Benny out just breathing in that fresh air and like feeling the sun I was like "Ooh, okay it's gonna be a good day and it really just calmed me down so I am about to get ready because I promised some friends I would help them out with some stuff. The first thing that I'm doing this morning, um, my one friend that I talked about in the last vlog who is opening up an online boutique, she got all of her clothing items in. She was trying to figure out who should she have modeling the clothes. And I was like, well, if you could get like a variety of people that you know, that would be really cool. So that way people can see the clothing in a few different body types and different sizes and stuff. So she asked if I could come and just model, I think like one or two pieces. So I'm gonna go over to her place to do that so she can just take a couple pictures of me wearing some of the pieces. And then after that, I am going over to my friend's house um, and I am doing her friend's hair. So it's like a friend of a friend. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything crazy. She said that she got it done somewhere else and it's a little bit more brassy than she would like. So she wants to tone it. So I need to see what it looks like in person first and see what exactly we can do with it. If you didn't know, if you're new here, I actually am a licensed hairdresser. Um, I was doing hair in Pennsylvania and then I moved down here a couple months ago to North Carolina and I got my license transferred so I am licensed in this state but I just have not been taking hair clients because I've been doing social media and YouTube full time and still trying to decide when and if I want to go back to working in a salon but in the meantime and I, I know a lot of you guys suggested this too which I mean, yeah, it's perfect right now. Um, I've just kind of been doing like friends or friends of friends hair at home just to kind of like give me that little fix because I still love doing hair. And I know some people were like, oh, we'll just do it part time. I was doing it part time, but even doing it part time, it's still a lot. And then when I'm also trying to do YouTube at the same time, like it's a lot on my plate at once. I felt like when I was doing that, I really had no social life and like no free time for anything, which I didn't mind at the time, I guess, because I was enjoying what I was doing. But right now I feel like because I'm in a new place, like I, I would rather have more free time to just enjoy, live my life, you know, like meet people, go out and do things. And then once I get to a point where I feel like, okay, I'm fully settled here, I wanna start doing hair in a salon again, then I will. 
but I, I'm just going based off of what I want to do. There's no point, like financially, I am good. There's no stress, which I'm so grateful for. So I feel like if I don't have to go back to doing hair right now, then why force myself to just because I feel like I should do it or I feel guilty or whatever, you know? So my whole goal in life, like even when I was younger, before I really knew what I wanted to do for a career, all I knew was I just want to be happy and I don't want to live a life where I am working to live or living to work, whatever the phrase is. Like I don't want my whole life to just be consumed with work. Like I want to have financial freedom and I want a flexible schedule and I want to be able to work for myself and choose when I do and don't work and if I want to take a day like today where I just want to be out and hang out with friends and not have to work I want to be able to do that and when you're taking clients yes you have flexibility in the sense of if you are able to make your own schedule you can block out time if you want and you can choose when you're schedule is going to be open and whatnot but once you have a client booked you can't just wake up in the morning and decide like oh it's a really beautiful day out I don't want to work I want to go to the beach instead but doing social media I can do that I'm just enjoying my situation right now and I'm trying to make the most of it and I keep telling myself like anybody can go to cosmetology school and become a hairdresser but this opportunity that I have like this little bit of a following that I've grown over the years, this hobby I once had that I've now been able to turn into something that I can survive off of, this is not an opportunity that everybody has. So I would be stupid to not take advantage of it. And who knows how long this is gonna last, you know? So I may as well just do this for as long as I can. I can always go back to doing hair. Hair will always be around as an option for me. That was like a long tangent just to say that yes I'm going to just be doing like friends hair on the side here and there just to kind of like get it out of my system so if I ever feel like oh I miss doing hair I can still do it for the fun of it but not like burn myself out and get super stressed about it. I am gonna put this bathrobe on because I'm about to do my hair and I hate when I spray product on my hair and then it gets on my skin, it just feels gross. So I'm gonna put this on as protection. I'm gonna be using the Kenra Color Maintenance Thermal Spray. It's a medium hold hairspray, but also a heat protectant in one. So I spray this on my hair first, it gives me the heat protection, but then it also helps the style last. So each section that I do, I spray with this first and I'm using this um, Cricut curling iron it's a one and a quarter inch size barrel I believe and I'm just gonna curl everything away from my face leaving the ends kind of straight I did a tutorial on this a couple years ago I'm thinking about doing an updated version comment down below and let me know if you would like to see that but yeah that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna put on some music so I can like vibe out while I do this and then after everything's curled I will show you uh, the last step. Who remembers this song? that everything is curled I wait for it to completely cool because if you start messing with it while it's still warm then it'll fall flat and it won't hold the curl as nicely and sometimes I will spray additional hairspray sometimes I don't it really kind of depends I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of hairspray today I mean I guess why not um, this is the Kenra volume Super hold hairspray. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Just a tiny bit. 
because I feel like if I put a lot of hairspray in my hair, especially now that it's getting longer, I've found that it gets tangled more. Like, I don't know, the hairspray just kind of makes it a little more dry. So then it just like, especially the back section here it just gets like really tangled now that everything is cool i'm gonna take the not your mother's beach babe dry shampoo the same one that i showed you guys yesterday i love this stuff and like i said i usually apply this to day one clean hair so freshly styled before i even like brush out the curls or anything i'm gonna take some of this and first i go through and hit it up the root and i go section by section and just do a little amount and as long as you just do a little bit and you're holding it at a far enough distance, you won't get any kind of white cast. The key is like at least a bottle's length away. Then once I've sprayed it all at the root, I'm going to go through with my fingers and just very gently pull the curls apart. And then I'm going to take more of that dry shampoo. Because it's a texturizing dry shampoo, I use it as a texture spray as well. And I like using this because I feel like you can't really overdo it. You know, like it doesn't feel gross in your hair. It just makes it smell good. It gives it that little bit of texture, which gives it some more hold, but it doesn't get like crunchy or dried out feeling. And then I just give it a little zhuzh. Let me know if you guys want a little bit of a more in-depth tutorial on this, but that's how I do it. I am going to put on just a little bit of light makeup, very similar to what I did yesterday. Probably the exact same thing, actually. I was about to head out the door and almost completely forgot to bring like my color bowl and the stuff that I need. So let me grab a little bag. I'm very professional around here. I'm not going to worry about actual products, but I'm going to bring my bottle, a bowl, brush, because I'm not sure if I'm going to need to do a shadow root situation or what exactly the deal is. So I'm just going to bring both options in case. And then I'm going to bring my shears just in case. She didn't say anything about needing a haircut, but... You never know, may as well just bring them with me, why not? We're gonna bring a comb and a couple of clips. And that should hopefully be all that we need. Let me show you my outfit, I'm feeling like a cute soccer mom today. These Adidas track pants, joggers, I don't really know what you would call them. And then I just have this plain tank that I think is from Primark and my beauty school zip up. And then I'm probably just gonna wear my pillow slides, the new black ones that I got. Back in our spot. I kind of feel like maybe, cause these are the lights that are in my bathroom and I kind of feel like maybe I should switch out the bulbs for white lights because I just feel like filming in here is so convenient, but I don't love the lighting. And maybe if I had cooler toned bulbs, it would look nicer anyway it's currently friday morning the first friend that i had met up with like i said she opened her online boutique and she actually just launched yesterday so the website is up now she has a few items on there um and she actually gifted me a piece um, as a thank you for helping her out which i'm so excited about and i tried it on already just to make sure that it fit and i liked it but she packaged it up for me and i wanted to wait to show you on camera because I wanted to show you her packaging like how freaking cute obviously you have great taste I'll have a link to her store in the description if you guys want to go take a look and check it out um, even if you you know can't purchase anything right now but if you want to go like follow her social media just to kind of like give her that little support she has this little card in there oh she has these little stickers so cute these little sneakers and the Mario Badescu facial spray and she did tell me that she has a discount code so if you guys want to use that i believe it's sam 10 but again i will put that in the description so you'll get 10 percent off your purchase this is the dress that i got it also comes in a peachy pink color but i just felt like the black is more versatile and also just like more my taste 
but oh my god like you think it looks cute in the pictures and when you look at it but trying it on in person i'll put a video of me wearing it so you can see how it looks and it's pretty stretchy like the top is stretchy and the waist is stretchy so i got it in a size medium and it fits perfectly and i like it because it's a little bit fitted up top and because it like cinches in at the waist it gives you shape but then it's like kind of flowy on the bottom so it's super flattering and you don't have to worry about like wearing shapewear or something like that underneath it and the sleeves are also really stretchy sometimes sleeves that like come down a little bit um like dig into my arm and it's really uncomfortable but these are really comfortable they're very stretchy and you can wear the sleeves up or you can kind of pull them down to the side, which I love them down to the side. It's just so freaking cute. And I am definitely going to try to find an opportunity to wear it sometime very soon because uh, it's just so cute and I'm dying to wear it. So yeah, shout out to Sophia. Thank you so much for gifting me this dress. I'm so happy for her. It's very exciting. This was a good week. I got everything knocked off of my list. Well, filming the apartment tour, I'm gonna do that today. We got a lot done and I feel so much better. I feel like I am getting back into a groove and feeling like myself again. I appreciate you guys being here and watching. I hope that this helps motivate you. If you've kind of been feeling similar, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to check out Sophia's Boutique. Uh, don't forget to check out my podcast. If you're not already a listener, me and my best friend post an episode every Thursday and it's just some fun girl talk. And if you kind of want a little bit of a glimpse of like a more personal side of me and see like a real like unedited, more raw version of my personality, it's all on the podcast. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love and appreciate you more than you will ever know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye to the vlog. Say bye. Bye vlog. Benny says bye too. <laughs> see you guys soon.